Hello everyone. As all of you know, on March 14th, GPT-4 was presented to the world. And this is a crazy new version of GPT. So what we are going to have here is we are going to be able to work with images, faster answers and many, many things. And what we're going to do today is we're going to create a chatbot with Python, but it's going to be able to introduce information from a web page, in this case, router.com. To create this chatbot, we're going to need to use GPT-4 API. But because we are not able to join the wish list on time, we have to use the version 3.5. So we are going to use GPT-4 for the chat, but we're going to use GPT-3.5 for the API. As you can see, there are several number of models. Those are the models for GPT-4 that we cannot use this time, but we have this model for GPT-3.5. We're going to use today the test DaVinci 002 and test DaVinci 003, but you can see the turbo is the same as in the reduced way. When you have GPT-4, you can choose between the three levels, default 3.5, legacy 3.5, or GPT-4. And in every one of those three, you have the different levels of speed, consciousness, and resonance of this chat. In all of these cases, it's working in the same way. And you're going to see how it's working because if we make a simple question, for example, hello, how are you, something like that, you're going to see that it's going to answer in the same way in this model that we have currently that is the GPT-4 or in the model default 3.5 or even in the legacy model. In all of them, it's going to answer with the same typical answer telling that, okay, I am an AI language model, so I don't have feelings, blah, 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 blah. I don't. I don't know how I feel. But okay, let's go deeply. We are going to speed up many, many of the answers because, as you know, are slow. But what we are going to do today is we're going to tell to ChatGPT, please give me Python code to be able to create a chatbot for this 3.5 version. As you can see here, we have the code. And this code, what it's going to do is going to use the open AI APIs. We are using this create completion. API call, what it's going to do is going to send the text that we are typing to our chat to open API. There are parameters like this one, temperature that we're going to work on that, that is given from zero to, to two. The, let's say, how crazy do you want the chat to be? In this case, first, we need to install the PIP, and after that, we copy and paste the code. You see that the engine model that we're using is this test DaVinci 002. What we do now is we directly execute the Python 3 and the chat, and it's telling to us that we have a problem because we don't have these API keys. We go to the page, we create our API keys. You can use this one, but okay, I'm going to remove after this video. And then we now go to our code, we open the chat, and we introduce the key. When we have the key now and we execute our chat, we can talk with our chat in the same way that we are talking with uh, chat GPT. So we said, hey, hello, how are you? What day is today? And as you can see, it's telling that today is January 20th, 2021, because it's the last day that introduced the date. But we want to improve this chat. So what we're going to do today is we're going to tell that we want to have some way to introduce to our model answers from a page, in this case, from routers. So I want to be able to tell to routers, hey, uh, this is happening and I want the model to be able to chat to read this news and answer to me with this news. So not 2021, I want to answer with something new for today. So as you can see, we have a new code. The code is going to be in the description of the video. We install the PIP request and beautiful sub4 that is going to be needed in this case to read the, the web. We copy the, the Python code that again, I don't care about this Python code because let's imagine that we have no idea about Python and we have no idea about coding. We paste the, the, the new API key and now we have a chat. But this, is, this conversation is super interesting and maybe you need to sometimes show the, watch a video twice and stop. We're going to tell, give me some news. And as you can see, he's talking about a uh, uh, Hurricane Dorian, but this Hurricane Dorian was in 2019. So looks like he's not working. I, I asked him again, could you, could you give me some current news from routers because it was in our code and it's talking about some old news from 2000, in this case, 2017. So it's not working. So there is a problem. And as you can see, if we go to routers today, 
there is a news telling that the Pentagon released a, a video where we can see that in the Black Sea there is a Russian airplane attacking an American airplane. So if we change the temperature to 0 0.2 to tell, okay, you are less crazy, and you change the model to the latest version 3, and we make the question again, please, could you give me this news from Reuters? He's telling, no, we have news from Reuters. I ask him again, so there is something bad. Maybe it's the code. What I'm going to do now is we're going to tell to ChatGPT, please, could you check your code because I am not getting the news from Reuters. And this is super cool because this new version is amazing. It's able to fix everything. You even got paste error codes. So what he's going to do now is going to read the RSS of this page. Again, I'm going to paste the code, so don't worry for that. And what we're going to do now is, okay, in this case, what happened is I had the error because they was, wasn't able to show the, the complete test. So now I paste the new code and what is going to happen is something crazy because we're going to be able to change the model without using the tools to change the model. Because to do what we want to do, <coughs> there is something called fine tunes. So now we made a question. If he knew something about this new from the Pentagon and, and we can see now that he is telling that he knows about this accident, but you will see that when we ask again, if he has more information, keep back again to the old version. And he's talking about ISIS, that nothing to do with this video. And here there is a super interesting question because I ask him here, uh, how old is this new? And he and, and I tell him if this new from 2023, and he's telling, there is no news from 2023. Do you know why? because the model was created in 2021 so he has no idea about what happened with this 2023 so you can reread this conversation because it's super interesting as you can see in this video we have been able to do a super crazy that in seconds but you can do many things for example you can paste the code and tell could you try to correct uh, this code and many many other things i recommended you to use chat gpt for you need to pay 20 dollars per month but really is is something crazy i hope that you enjoyed this video and see you next time do you think your project infrastructure is well set and maintained we know for sure there is always room for improvement if you are uncertain where to begin let's first do an audit of what you already have we will review your setup from every angle performance cost security high availability automation and provide you with a detailed roadmap of which direction your infrastructure should go, generate concrete tasks for you to implement, or even take on your infra entirely, if you let us, of course.